Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got um uh, Snoop Dogg and Master P um get going to court. You know what I'm saying? We gonna talk, we gonna talk about that. I mean, I mean, you know what I'm saying? They gonna sue Walmart. You know what I mean? They sue on Wally World. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got um. Uh, Boosie responding to um, Yak, man. Yak has some strong words for him, man. We got uh, Master P also on divorce. We're going to talk about that. Uh, the Killer Mike vid has been released, man. We're going we gonna to show you that real quick, man. Um, We're we going to try to um, put you on some information that might that might send you to the pits, man. Uh, who is this girl? Uh, Bobby Altoff, man. We got Hub, man, and uh, Kiki Palmer. Sukiyana, again, thank for tuning in to Cele and Quando Rondo. Again, thank for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, be sure to hit that like button if you feel any part of the content. We definitely appreciate that. That notification bell is waiting for your tap. So go on and give it a tap. And that subscribe button is waiting for your subscription, man. So go on and touch that too. Yo, check this out, man. Let me see. Let me let me see if I got this information here ready for you, man. Hold on for a second. Man, man. All right, all right, look, check this out, man. We setting this one off with Quando Rondo, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the artist Quando Rondo was arrested. Then he got arrested again. Okay. Look, I didn't even know you could do that. Last I checked, he was arrested and I didn't I don't remember them letting him out. But I guess, you know what I'm saying, he, he posted this bond, whatever. He was arrested on uh, Georgia state charges of drug dealing last year. The feds charged him with similar crimes. He was out on bond, which I didn't even know, but that that allowed the state of Georgia to arrest him again, all right? At this point, the handcuffs are like an accessory to his outfit, man. You know what I mean? Uh, he was booked for driving under the influence and reckless driving. And he's been released on $4,600 bond. Okay? That's insane. It's insane how frequently this actually happens with brother. It's like the man is being targeted. Like when the county is broke, they arrest him just to get the money from him bonding out. You follow what I'm saying, man? I find it to be odd. I can't believe people get arrested this much. I never got arrested. I'm not saying it can't happen tomorrow. I'm just saying I never got arrested. And I don't plan on it neither. I, I just don't understand how people could constantly be in that situation. Anyway, um, it's gonna be a short video today because I, I mean I got I got I gotta go pick somebody up. It's super short, man. Super short video for today. All right, so let me give you this one real quick. The internet is trying to figure out if the artist Suki Hana is doing a skit with that girl Bobby Altoff or if she's really like yeah you know I mean like really on the you know what I'm saying like really kind of slow. You know what I mean? Take a look at this clip of Suki Hana with Bobby Altoff real quick. Take a look. What do you know? That you're a musician. But that's why I'm interviewing you today, so I can get to know you. So I'm a musician. Mm -hmm. What the fuck that mean? Make magic or something? What is musician? I think that's, I think you're confusing a lot. Yeah, I'm not a musician. I, I make music. I make I, music. I, and that's not all I do. I make music. I act. I'm a TV star too, a young woman. Uh -huh. I just really like, I think you're confusing. I'm not confusing nothing because I, you, you don't know. I, you thought that all I was was a magician or whatever the fuck you said. See, that's what I think you think I said. No, I said musician, I think, not magician. I don't think, baby, but, I don't think. What I, is that? That's ghetto. I don't think. I know. So you, you think. I didn't say magician, Suki, I said musician. And I think you are a musician. No, baby, I do music. So you, just really, just really quick, for the record, could you say you don't think you're a musician? I'm not none of that. But then after that, you just said, I do music. Yeah, I do music. So, in other yeah. words, you're a musician. No, I'm not. Okay. Hey, yo, she said, she said, I don't think. <laughs> she said, what is think? What's that? That's ghetto. She said, I don't think. I know. Little school. Look, look, look. We know, look. We know that if this is real, you don't think. You know what? You know, you know what this makes me think of though, man. Because I was like, man, like these, these. Look, this is what it makes me think of. Um, it's called BBWs. You like what? BBWs, man. I want to. I think I want to do something called BBWs. You like? Yeah, me too. I'm talking about Black Business Wednesdays, man. Black Business Wednesdays. All right, we got to put money into black businesses. You follow what I'm saying, man? Just look, just to work towards evening out the playing field. I'm not talking about dominance. I'm talking about evening out the playing field, man. I'm thinking about promoing, right? A promo for black businesses. Like a lot of folks have amazing products, but their promo doesn't have a wide enough. Like there's not, they don't have like a wide enough reach. A lot of people don't even know about them. Okay. They might even need one or two people to be exposed to their product. If you have a black owned business, we want to promote your product here on Celeb Source. Real talk. You know what I'm saying? Just so a couple a couple hundred people can see it. You follow what I'm saying? Man, we want to promote our, your product for BBWs. Black Business Wednesdays, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, we talking once a month, preferably every other Wednesday. But it's got to be like business business. Okay? You send us your legit black-owned business on the gram. And we'll see if we can promo your operation. Now, to filter out folks that ain't serious, because, you know, a lot of people, they just want to promo whatever, and they stuff ain't going to be serious, man. If you want us to promo your business, 
One, send us evidence that you actually own the business. Two, proof that the business is legitimate. And three, a social media presence. Look, look, we want to be able to check and see your social media presence, see if you are actively promoting your business and engaging with your customers. If you do not meet these criteria, we don't want to promote your product. Real talk. I'm sorry. I'm just throwing it out there like it is. I'm just I'm just throwing this this fishing hook into the water. All right? I want to I want to see what happens. OK, hit us on a gram so we can feature your business for Black Business Wednesdays. OK, BBWs. Cause I love me some BBWs. You follow what I'm saying, man? Uh, uh, but uh, cause when I saw Suki Hana, um, sitting with this Bobby Altoff girl, I, I was like, like, see, this girl Bobby Altoff was accused of being an industry plant. Okay. In fact, Kiki Palmer confronted Bobby Altoff for showing up out of nowhere and suddenly having major celebrities like Drake, Shaq. Offset, a uh, little yachty showing up on her podcast. To, uh, take a listen to um, her being confronted by Kiki Palmer about being an industry plant. Take a look. Or then there's always the industry plant gag. I know. You're not an industry plant, right? I am, but. <laughs> so, wait, what is an um, industry plant to you? I, I mean, I don't truly like know. Well, you do feel kind of planty. You got you got here in five minutes. I took me 20 years. I, I Hey, it has been a minute. <laughs> 20 years, you started so young. Yes, girl, I've been working hard. Yeah, you, I think you're the real industry plant here. Baby, this is, this is. Look, Kiki Palmer said, Kiki Palmer said, you got here in five minutes and it took me 20 years to get here. Um, Yeah, I think that's the essence of, that's part of largely the essence of an industry plant, right? Somebody that, um, you know, like they just pop up on the scene and they get so many they get so many followers, it's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? Like that's it's just kind of weird to a lot of people that um that even goes down like that. Okay. Uh that and 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 how can I say this? Um yeah, BBWs. BBWs, okay? But look, 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 look. I, I said I gotta go. I cannot I cannot waste too much time, okay? This one right here, I'm gonna tell you something right now. All right. We about to we're we about to send the whole ship to the furnace, okay? The whole ship is about to go down into the furnace after I show you this next clip right after i show this next clip you're going to the pit you ready i want you to take a look at that hopefully this plays take a look at this next clip if that if this plays then you are bound for the furnace <laughs> Yo, you ain't ish. You ain't. Ish. You know you ain't ish. That's the whole thing. You know you ain't ish. I'm looking right at you. You know you ain't ish. How you gonna get to heaven now? Key said, "What up?" Key said, "They ain't going." How you gonna get to heaven now? Okay. Hi. Oh, oh, you still think you're going? Let Let's look at the comments real quick. Look, I'm not gonna even read the comments. Source, I'm gonna need you to show the comments real slow for these folks. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm not gonna even read it, but Source, can you please pan, like like show each comment one by one. Let the people read the comments for themselves just to certify their position. Look, look at these comments right here. Look at Bookham's comment. You see that? You see what it's in? Okay, look, look at, look at Istiak's comment. Look at this. Okay, look at skirts comment. You see that? Uh, uh, who who else comment? You gotta look at. Look at um uh um Rayhan Rayhan Mayhem's comment. Look at this comment right here. Rafik Rafik was like, I feel like I'm being tested. Yes, yeah, sir, you are. Yes, sir. Um, <laughs> let me see. Sacred visions. Say, look at what Sacred Vision said. She said, I'm ashamed of uh, of myself for how fast I came to these comments. God, please forgive me. I'm serious. Um, Superbike felt the same way, right? And look at G-O-U-R-A-B-D-U-T-T-A. Okay, look at, look at his comment. I'm not reading that. I'm not reading that. And look at Jason Strickland's comment. Look at this comment. Wow. You see? You see how people are? Chronic's comment. Hopefully that shows up. And Fujimoto said, I'ma see y'all niggas in hell. That's 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 nine. I'ma see y'all in hell. <laughs> uh yeah, 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 yeah. Um Yeah. What the dude say? If you get if you get to heaven and you don't see me there, you in hell, bro. 
So a lot of y'all going just off of that, that video alone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all better get saved. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. I don't got time. I don't got time. Let, let, let me go. I don't got time. Killer Mike. The video has released of what went down with Killer Mike. Apparently, they're saying that it was a citizen's arrest. Man, throw all of LAPD away. Throw them all away. Throw them in the garbage. What are you waiting for? You see what I'm saying? These dudes, a, a citizen's arrest on Killer Mike. Look at the video real quick. So the security guard is the aggressor. He pushes past the security guard and then someone calls out a citizen's arrest and then they arrest him on the spot. Throw away the whole department, man. Like, it's crazy. I can't believe I can't believe this is allowed to happen. You know what I'm saying? This this is America. This is land of the free home of the of the of the gays. This is America. This shouldn't go down in America, bro. This is this is a this country is pure and good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look, I don't got time. I really don't got time. I I I have so no time because my schedule was altered today. My schedule was drastically altered today. So I got no time. I can't even do the shout outs. Master P has posted a strong message about divorce because you've been contemplating divorce. Yeah, lady, I'm talking to you. You see what I'm saying? You looking around acting like it, like I ain't talking to you. I'm talking directly to you, lady. You was contemplating divorce. Um, but I want you to th consider uh, what Master P posted here. Uh, take a listen to this real quick. Why did I divorce my husband? I divorced my husband because I was making a certain amount of money. I divorced my husband because I thought I didn't need him anymore. I divorced my husband because I had this senior position at work and thought I held the same position at home. I divorced my husband because I thought I was better than him because I had my degree now. I divorced my husband because I thought a successful marriage meant I was here and he was down here. That is not success. That's fucking sickness. I found myself divorced and out there looking for love in all the wrong places. Fucking this one and that one and that one and that one and this one and that one. And my body count going up and my value going down. I'm just going to call it like a T.I. is. All the while, my husband done found somebody else building a, a relationship and building a life with them. I should have stayed married to my husband. I felt like I was on this dark road with no street lights, pitch dark, and I couldn't find my way and didn't know which way to go. I felt lost. I felt like I was walking barefoot on that dark road with pebbles and hot rocks sticking my foot. I felt hurt. Uh, I felt alone because every time he and that one and this one and that one left my bed, I was alone all by myself. And which was supposed to be soft and comfortable, comfortable for me, my pillow, it was now filled with tears. I should not have left my husband. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was for you, man. You think you think like like this was haphazard? Nah, that was from the heavens. You know what I'm saying? Um, a lot of y'all that are considering divorce, man, it's it's it's. Especially if the dude is not a horrible dude, he ain't cheat on you or nothing like that, man. He ain't beat on you, he ain't cheat on you. Y'all just be having a couple of disagreements, or you think you, oh, you know, I think I fall out of love, or I like somebody else. And you know how it is, man. They claim the grass is greener on the other side, and you know what goes into that grass. You follow what I'm saying, man? That message is for you, man. Um, I, I tell you one thing. If you going hopping around from, um, you know, like you figure, well, let me get a divorce. I'm going to be I'm going to be single and ready to mingle again. You're going to be in for a rude awakening. You see what I'm saying? You're going to be in for a very rude awakening. It ain't as sweet as you think it is. You know what I mean? Uh, you, you check this out, man. Boosie has a strong message for Kodak Black. I um, Kodak Black did have some words for Boosie. I think Kodak is actually still locked up. OK, I'm almost positive he's still locked up. Um, Boosie has a strong message for Kodak. This is what he posted. He said, um, who Boosie think he is? Because, you know what I'm saying? Because I think Kodak said, 
who, uh, who does Boosie think he is on, on his song 11 a.m. in Malibu? All right. That's what Kodak said. Um, Boosie said, who who does Boosie think he is? He says someone you'll never be. You must you must be still mad about what I said because you keep bringing my name up he, at Kodak Black. He said, you got to blame yourself. You gave your career a black eye. I didn't do it. You did it. You supposed to be focused on getting back out here with your family and getting help. Wish you the best. And I wish you freedom. Um, that's what's up, man. I mean, I, I like the fact that Boosie addressed it like that. You know what I'm saying? I think that that's a good thing. He could have he could have clapped back on what have you. But he didn't, man. He was just like, yo, you know what? Th- you know, this these things played out the way they played out and they shouldn't have played out. And I hope that you get free. I think that that was a pretty mature thing for um, Bootsy to say in his response, man. You know what I'm saying? Then finally. All right, look, I tell you this is a short video. Um, I tell you this is a very short video. Uh, Snoop Dogg and Master P have decided that they will be suing Wally World. Okay? They're suing Walmart. I live so close to Walmart, it's not even funny. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they, they suing my pantry. You know what I mean? Um... These two are are suing Walmart and they're suing um, Post Foods who are supposed to distribute their cereal. Now, now um, the cereal brand is Snoop Loops. okay? and Snoop Dogg and Master P have stated that they were sabotaged. They're saying that Walmart placed Snoop Loops in back stock rooms where the customers couldn't see it. And according to the lawsuit. They're saying that Walmart worked with Post, who didn't push for the cereal to be placed by the other cereals. Okay, Um, they're saying that this was because that they were given an offer and they refused the offer. Okay, to uh, to sell the brand to Post, and then they entered into a um, a distribution deal with the intention of burying Snoop Loops. Okay, Uh, according to the evidence. Uh, they argued that the cereal sold so well on the interwebs that they can't possibly fathom how it sold poorly in stores. Okay. Now the post denies the charges. They're saying, um, this is what they said. They said, quote, post consumer brands was excited to partner with broadest foods. And we are substantial investments in the business. We were equally disappointed that consumer demand did not meet expectations. This is what they said. And Walmart said, uh, uh, <laughs> Walmart values our re- relationships with our supplies. And we have a strong history of supporting entrepreneurs. Many factors affect the sales of any given product, including consumer demand seasonality and price to name a few we will respond as appropriate with the court once we are served with the complaint you like what the hell kind of accent was that i don't know man i'm just trying over here i'm just shooting in the dark all right so uh snoop and master p they're uh being represented by civil rights attorney benjamin crump and yo take a look it was okay to sell all the products that Snoop endorsed, those are all over the store, on the aisles everywhere. Those products are owned by majority corporations. But when you had a product that was black owned, a black business, they put it in the back of the storeroom. And so we want everybody in our community to join us in saying that during this Black History Month, we want the message to be loud and clear. We stand with Master P. We stand with Snoop Dogg. We stand with Broadest Fools. Walmart Post, until you do right, don't expect us to continue to support you if you're not going to support our black businesses. Entrepreneurship. He's teaching us, gave us the blueprint on how to be entrepreneurs, how to sell our own cereals, how to sell our own products. And they putting our products in the back, saying that it was out of stock, never on the shelf, never on the shelf. It's right here. I am actually in the back. 
and I got permission to come back here. This is where it's all at. Because there's families out here that can use these and not for no goddamn $12 and whatever. I was without a sack when it's right here. It's been here since. Are they in a den? Yeah, I'm going to say because they're in a den. So it's been here since August. Uh, when these bin labels are here, that means it's been put into a bin and assigned to a location back here. Right, oh. so that's kind of like... So we can scan and see like that it's out here. So why why isn't it There's out there? There's no home location, no flex location for it. So, so, so it's saying out of stock on the, on the scan. I really don't know why, why they haven't been on the shelf because I've been everybody's been looking. Yeah, like I said, there's no location given to them, so that's probably why there's yeah, there's that's, a system that's on the box. Yeah, so you, you're right, so y'all wouldn't know why, right? Since there's no physical location assigned to it, our systems will not pick it. We don't pick unless it tells us. To. Yeah, these came out of July, so they've been sitting for what July, August, November, yeah, December, yeah, yeah. five weeks. I know what you guys are saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is where, where before it gets here, who's the people that puts it there so you guys can see that it's here? So, home office takes care of all of our modular. Okay. Like, so if it's supposed to be assigned to a mod, that, that needs to go. To oh, the so, so, so it's coming from, okay, got you. Look at it, look at it. See what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Stop playing with me. Look at this right here. This is the same one that I saw on that phone. This is the same one that I saw on that phone. You telling me that it's out of stock? It's not out of stock. Here, go right here. August 11th, 2023. Somebody got to explain this. I wonder if it's more. Get the fuck. Are you sick? Wait a minute. What? When we checked, when we checked the man's phone, he looked it up, he said it was out of stock. Hello? Hello? Yo, bro, this shit is out of pocket, bro. It's no way that this man, we talking about, he's like the Martin Luther King of our- Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you have it, man. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be suing um, Walmart and uh, Post. Um, cereal, I guess, and uh, we're gonna see how that plays out, man. I'm actually uh, curious to see how this plays out when these big money artists go up against this corporation, this big money corporation, man. This is gonna be quite the battle, and they're like, "Hey, look, we waiting to get served." So this is gonna be interesting, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Are you going to hell? You better not be. You know what I'm saying? There's only one way out because you already laughed, so you know what you got to do now, right? That's right. You gotta repent. And you gotta believe in Christ. You know what I'm saying? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, man. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source. Your source, Celeb News.